Hello and welcome! Welcome back to the Jacksepticeye Power Hour. I am your host for today, Dr. Schneepelstein. So today, Dr. Schneepel is going to work. Get on my fucking face. First things first, put on your masks. It is important to have your masks. These ones block out all visual and all uh, vocal. Uh, put on your headphones. The headphones, the help with the ear protection. Get this bullshit off of my face. I do not need it. I need to be able to breathe. I need to be able to smell the fear in my patient. That's how I know that I am doing a great stand-up job. More germs are transferred by shaking hands than by kissing. Clearly, one has never kissed Dr. Schneepel. Nurse! I need silence in my ear for two minutes. Silence! Please. I kill you. Okay. The most important part is about to come out. It is... The penis bone. If we have the penis bone right in the leg, where I always knew it was. Hiding away. Just pull it on its slightly- OH! It's popped out. Okay. You don't need to pump blood through a body when you have Schneepel on the case. I will save you this motherfucker. Can I call you TM for short? No, okay, even even in the emergency room, he piece of shit. Oh, okay, nurse, what do we have here? Oh, a little elf? No problem, I specialize in elf. It is my specialty. That's why they call it time for a time bomb. It reminds me of that time when I studied in France and somebody brought in a ticking patient and I said, why is this cadaver ticking? Somebody else said there is bomb in it, so I became bomb diffusal expert for a day. It was quite easy, it was just like taking care of a person. Except this person had a ticking bomb inside them. This patient is called my ass. But the, what the fuck do I do here? He's fucking dead again! Suck on my ass, suck on all of my ass. Suck on all my ass. Da, 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 da. I hate Christmas. It reminds me that I don't have anybody who loves me. Aha! While Schneepelstein plays, the doctors are away. Good luck getting fixed now, this motherfucker. Let's see if there's anybody left to help you once Sneeple has been inside. <laughs> what can I say? It's not the first time that my ass has been a ticking time bomb. <laughs> yes. Yes, my ass had a lung transplant. How does that even happen? Cannot put lung in ass? Oh, I get it now. <laughs> I didn't even see the other chunks of shit that were lying in him. Fucking asshole! Why were you just sitting there and not telling me what was wrong with you? You think just because I'm supposed to be a fucking doctor that I'm supposed to know what's going on? Do I look like that type of doctor? No! I don't even have an MD! I mean, of course I do! This is my real accent. This is the real me. Not the thing that I was telling you before. <laughs> my ass caught a very bad flu. Ah oh, yes, my ass collects very many things that are subjectively bad for some people, subjectively good for me. I love them. I love them. Most viruses are needed yet again. Ah, you cannot see my beautiful face. The good doctor services are needed. Jack, he has been a little bit sick. He being a tiny little bitch baby. So Dr. Schneep has been brought in to fix the situation. No time for that. Get out of my face. It's inside his ear. Red blood cell. You do not need them. Who told you you need red blood cell? Oh, look at this shit. You're all clogged up with cheese. Here. It's okay. Because Dr. Schneeperstein, his work is done. Nurse, get me a fucking whiskey. What do, I, what do you think this is? Some sort of normal hospital? 